don't think I've ever been left alone with a theater critic since I joined the board. Is there some sort of code of ethics I should follow? Sexual favors and bribes in excess of $1,000 are generally frowned upon. But I believe anything else is fair game. <laughs> so, how do you like Portland theater? Uh, I'm afraid to say I'm a Portland theatrical virgin. <laughs> this is my first day on the job and I've yet to attend a single play here. <laughs> At this stage, my mind is frighteningly open, though not for want of trying on my predecessor's part. Milson? He hated everything. I would say that he yearned to love, but set the bar of his affections rather high. <laughs> and I would say the man was a pompous ass. <laughs> He's fanned nearly every show we've done since I joined the board. Perhaps you should leave the board. No, I understand that our losing streak with him started well before me. But I may take your advice anyway. My term is up at the end of the year. You tired of theater? No, I could never be tired of theater. But there's very little theater in board life. And the actors get to have all the fun, and all we do is foot the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I do that drill with my children every week. But at least I get a say in what they do. Our artistic director will gladly take my check, but he would never take my advice. Have you tried? Hmm. When I first joined the board, Dylan, that's our artistic director, couldn't have been nicer, but I could tell that he wasn't going to listen to anything I had to say. I soon learned that it was his job to choose the season and ours to applaud him. <laughs> you know, according to Milson, most people in town thought that was his job as well. <laughs> I'm not saying he has to cheer for everything, I mean, no matter how awful, but if people pick up the theater section and only see negative reviews, then they're just going to go to the movie, which is what most of them really want to do anyway. So, a critic has a duty to save the theater at the price of his integrity. <laughs> now you're putting words in my mouth. But wouldn't the critic want there to be plays to review? Uh... My experience has been that theater people are strangely compelled to perform their art and will continue to do so, regardless of the obstacles placed in their path by the empty bank accounts, oppressive landlords, and unflattering critics. Uh -huh. And so you critics should feel free to make life as miserable as possible for these poor, deluded creatures. No, no, we should encourage the best of them to brave the obstacles and fight on. We should steer that dwindling but hardy band of theater goers as to what is worthy of their support and be unsparing as to what is not. Is that what you did in Chicago? Hmm. In Chicago I did what I could. I was a freelancer. I wasn't my paper's theater critic in chief. My editor kept my pontificating to a dull roar. So you came to Portland to hold court? Come to Portland for the money. Really? 